as they saw the uh, British on the other side of the, uh, the bridge, and they saw smoke rising from the town. They thought that the British that had entered the town were going to burn the town down, and that got these men really fired up and, 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 and angry about what was going on. And so that's about when they decided to descend upon the bridge and uh, go after the uh, British regulars, the, the uh, infantrymen on the other side of the bridge, and that's when this firefight happened. My name is Matthew Skick, and I'm curator of exhibitions here at the Museum of the American Revolution. Yeah, these are uh, the Minutemen of Acton, Massachusetts, a neighboring town to, uh, to Concord. Uh, when uh, riders like uh, Paul Revere were raising the alarm that the uh, British regulars were on the march uh, to Concord uh, from Boston, uh, many neighboring uh, towns around Concord and, and Lexington, including Acton, uh, they assembled their minute companies and rushed to uh, the defense of these, these towns. Isaac Davis led his, his Acton Minute Company uh, to the outskirts of Concord and met up with other uh, minute companies, including the, the Concord uh, Minute Companies. Then, just moments later, Captain Isaac Davis would fall uh, killed at the bridge. It didn't last very long, but a number of Massachusetts uh, men lost their lives, including a, a few uh, British soldiers. Ralph Waldo Emerson later uh, came back to the site to help dedicate a monument to the Massachusetts men that fought that day. And he wrote a poem called The Conquered Hymn. And that's where the famous words, the shot heard around the world, were first uh, applied to this, to this moment. Ralph Waldo Emerson is using that term to refer to the shots that the um, Massachusetts Minutemen are firing at the British, killing the first uh, British uh, redcoat in what becomes known as the Revolutionary War.